the hero. Do you want to sell your property? Or you're looking for a property to buy? Are you sick and tired of entrusting your properties or homes in the hands of agents? Or you're just stressed out with the hustle and bustle of agent Wahala in securing a property or home? Then look no further. Net 36 Vista has your property needs sorted. With properties located at prime areas of Accra, such as Laboni, Cantonment, East Legon, West Legon, and Airport Hills, and its environs, property owners and buyers are assured of reliability, security, safety, and comfort. We deliver excellence and top notch property investment plans, property management, property rentals, and sales for all. For viewing and pricing, contact us on 0302-960-601 or log on to www.net36vista.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Net36Vista. Look sharp and acquire a property now with Net36Vista because your safety and comfort is our priority. Do you want to buy or sell your products and services? Or do you want to advertise your goods and services? Buzz30.com is here to give you the opportunity to buy, sell, and advertise your products and services such as furniture, electronics, cars, health and beauty, restaurants, hotels and reservations, job advertisements, and many more. Visit www.buzz30.com for more details. Buzz30.com with seven care for your business. Is your business on the verge of collapse? Do you need some support to expand your business? Then worry no more. Ghana Chamber of Business Industries is here to assist you boost your business. The Ghana Chamber of Business Industries, GCBI. We put smiles on the faces of small and medium scale enterprises to improve efficiency, effectiveness and quality of service to remain competitive. At GCBI, SME's growth and profit maximization is our hallmark as we provide registered businesses with their required merchandise, free training in business management and legal framework. So visit our website on www.gcbigh.org to register and become a member today. And on Facebook, Ghana Chamber of Business Industries, GCBI. For further information, contact us on 0302-961-156. GCBI. Corporate for growth. Hello there. Welcome to another edition of The Hero Show with me, Selassie. Amegashi. We are coming to you live from Accra, Ghana, West Africa, right here in the premises of the Ghana Arbitration Center to have a chit chat with our hero for today. This edition promises to be informative, educating, as well as exciting. I trust that you will be inspired to also do great things. We are here with our hero. His name is Nana Dr. SKB Asante. Nana Dr. SKB Asante is the paramount chief of Asante Asokori traditional area. He's also an international lawyer and a professor and the former president of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Science. Nana, thank you very much for having us. Welcome to You're the welcome. show. <coughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I must say that you look majestic in your regalia and in spite of your age, you're looking fresh and young. Thank you very much. <coughs> okay, so Nana, <coughs> yes. Dr. SKB Asante is globally known as an astute international lawyer. Um, tell me, what informed or inspired that passion in the law profession or to do law? Well, actually, <coughs> law came almost by accident to me. I see. Yes. <clears throat> I um, went to Achimoto School, and at that time, <clears throat> there was no university in Ghana. Uh, in the course of my stay at Achimoto, the University College of uh, the Gold Coast was established. It provided uh, facilities uh, for liberal arts and the basic sciences. And which year was that? 48. That's a long time ago. Yes. I went to Achimoto in 1946. Wow. Yes. So <clears throat> when I was going to um, secondary school, there was no law school here. 
the university college which was established did not have a law department and the government, the colonial government, did not offer scholarships for legal training in the UK because they thought lawyers were troublesome. They always challenged the colonial authority. They had the experience from India. So they were not uh, interested in uh, awarding scholarships. Uh, so I was all set to read history at Legon. My classmate would have been uh, the late Professor Dubuahin, oh, who was my classmate in the elementary school at Asakore Methodist School. I see. But things changed in 1952 because um, independence was imminent and the government wanted lawyers to fill various government legal offices like the Attorney General's Department, Land Department, and so forth. So the offered scholarships for legal training in the UK, and I applied, even though I had applied to go to Lego, and I had just applied it for, for on a whim. And then I was um, uh, selected uh, with four others. Our interview panel was actually chaired by the late um, um, Justice uh, Kufuadu, the father of our president. So that's how I came to study law, almost by default, yes. And then when I got into, into the legal department at the University of Nottingham, I got interested. I followed it up with postgraduate work at the University of London and Yale Law School. And I became a law teacher first and eventually went into international service. That's how I became a lawyer. Thank you. An interesting story. Yes. <laughs> I find it interesting because, like you said, this is something that happened by accident. Yes, yeah. almost. <laughs> and, then, and then you go on to make such, I mean, immense contribution in this area. It's it's really yes. um, mind blowing. Yes. So now, now now let's talk about the impact. Yes. So you go ahead and then you make impact here in Ghana and then beyond. You are an international lawyer. You are recognized and respected yes. all over the globe. Um, I read that you played a key role in the establishment of the law faculty yes. at the University of Ghana. Yes. And also you've, you, you've lectured in a number of universities, one of them being the Leeds University in the UK. Yes. And then also you've done a, a number of publications. So I want to find out from you, when you sit and then you look back or reflect over all that you've done, immense contribution, how do you feel fulfilled or there's still more in Ghana to do? Well, first of all, the collection of our essays, yeah. the first shift, which was published in my honor in the year 2016, was uh, titled A Commitment to Law. A Commitment to Law. Law, I Development see. and Public Policy. And I think that has been the guiding principle, a commitment to law. And I have found it um, uh, interesting and challenging to research and publish in whatever capacity I found myself, whether, whether I was in regular academic life or outside in international service or even in, um, in national service or in local service as a chief. So <clears throat> publica research and publication has been my passion. And when I look back, um, I'm humbled by the way in which others have assessed my contribution. That uh, first shift attracted publications or contributions from four to seven scholars, jurists, and international experts. And they all had something to say about the work that I had done, both nationally and internationally. And I, I must say it's very humbling and just to realize that one has got uh, such a high standing. But of course, <clears throat> it, always, it also encourages me to be even more committed, even at this age. Uh, I'm still writing. I see. My last publication came only last year, 2019. Wow. Yes, called Reflections on Governance, um, Development, and Law. The hero.
Do you want to sell your property? Or you're looking for a property to buy? Are you sick and tired of entrusting your properties or homes in the hands of agents? Or you're just stressed out with the hustle and bustle of agent Wahala in securing a property or home? Then look no further. Net 36 Vista has your property needs sorted. With properties located at prime areas of Accra, such as Laboni, Cantonment, East Legon, West Legon, and Airport Hills and 8 Environs, property owners and buyers are assured of reliability, security, safety, and comfort. We deliver excellence and top notch property investment plans, property management, property rentals, and sales for all. For viewing and pricing, contact us on 0302-960-601 or log on to www.net36vista.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Net36Vista. Look sharp and acquire a property now with Net36Vista because your safety and comfort is our priority. Do you want to buy or sell your products and services or do you want to advertise your goods and services? Buzz30.com is here to give you the opportunity to buy, sell and advertise your products and services such as furniture, electronics, cars, health and beauty, restaurants, hotels and reservations, job advertisements and many more. Visit www.buzz30.com for more details. Buzz30.com we serve and care for your business. Is your business on the verge of collapse? Do you need some support to expand your business? Then worry no more. Ghana Chamber of Business Industries is here to assist you boost your business. The Ghana Chamber of Business Industries, GCBI. We put smiles on the faces of small and medium scale enterprises to improve efficiency, effectiveness and quality of service to remain competitive. At GCBI, SME's growth and profit maximization is our hallmark as we provide registered businesses with their required merchandise, free training in business management and legal framework. So visit our website on www.gcbigh.org to register and become a member today. And on Facebook, Ghana Chamber of Business Industries, GCBI. For further information, contact us on 0302-961-156. GCBI. Corporate for growth. Uh, so, there's no letting up so far as I'm concerned. And my mission is to transmit this kind of enthusiasm and interest to young, the younger generation. Okay. Um, and the younger generation should consider this as a, a more enduring value to pursue and not, you know, instant wealth. So I feel very humbled and I'm very grateful to various people who intervened. I told you about how I read law by accident. I also went to Achimota by accident. Yes. You see, I was at a Socorro Methodist School, 1945. Can you imagine? And Achimota was a far distant, uh, abstract idea. Yeah. And my headmaster kept saying that if you take the entrance examination to Achimota, you will pass. Um, I said I was going to do it, and I was dissuaded by um, the senior student who said, you'll never get there. They only accept rich men, men's children. <laughs> but he insisted in the following year I did, and I got a scholarship to Achimota. So that opened the gateway for me, and uh, from there to university and other places. So I'm very fortunate to people who intervened in my life. I'm quite fortunate and thankful to God for his intervention, because who would have thought that a little boy in Asakori uh, would have gone all the way to the United Nations and to the World Bank and to have gone to countries like China and Korea to advise on various issues. So I'm grateful. Thank you. Interesting. Um, indeed, who would have thought? Yes. Who would have thought? Yes. And so, I mean, we thank God and we are grateful for the kind of people God put in your life to help you, Thank you. on your journey. Anna, um, before I ask you my next question. Yes. You entered Achimota by accident. Yes. Law. You got into law also by accident. Tell yeah. me, what else did you get into or do by accident? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know. Um, 
even going to into, into, into international uh, service. Also by I, accident. Well, I, 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 I didn't plan to go there, but so, somebody recommended it. And yeah, so we can say by accident, <laughs> anyway. I mean, by divine intervention or by um, the intervention of uh, other people, I would say, not entirely by accident. Okay, yeah. divine design, yeah. Yes, all right. Then I, I'm also interested in, yes, I'll come back to my next question, but I'm also interested in, you know, like we say, we have people, certain people who come into our lives, play pivotal roles, and then when we look back, realize that it is this person's presence in my life that turned, that, that was a turning point for me. Yes. Yes. You've mentioned your headmaster. Yes. At Asokori. Correct. Methodist. Yes. Yeah. Are there, apart from him, which other people? Oh, you, yes. You I say, can please? mention several. Yes. Please do. First of all, my mother, you know, going to school um, was a rare thing in those days. But my mother, for some reason, was insisting that I should in Rome when I was a very, very little boy. And I, as you know, uh, I'm not a man of great height. <laughs> Somebody says I'm vertically challenged. <laughs> so as a very little boy, um, he, she insisted that I enroll at a Socorro Method School because I think she saw a, a friend's child who did very well okay. called uh, Professor Baidun, if you've heard of the name. And um, so my mother played a major role. And my grandmother uh, looked up to me because my mother was a trader and used to go, you know, trading in retail clothes around the country. My grandmother took care of me. So they had a stabilizing uh, effect on me. My teachers, uh, I've mentioned uh, uh, my headmaster, was called J.S. Koba. J.S. Koba. Uh, is the grandfather or something of Esther Copper. Yeah, you know, that's right, yeah. Uh, and other teachers like uh, Mr. J.K. Buafo, the father of Samson Buafo, you know, and Mr. Ebenezer Adam of the North. These all had profound uh, effects on me. Um, so that was the elementary school stage. And I must also mention the Omanhin of Asakori at that time, Nanaya Mother first. Yeah, because he made a contribution to the establishment of the Methodist school. Okay. Uh, Three thousand pounds sterling in those days from somebody who was not lettered. And that, that was extraordinary. I see. Then when I went to university, the you know people who, who really made an impact. Uh, uh, I mentioned Darocha as a student, and then the teachers like Professor Smith and Professor Harry Street. These are you know great teachers who saw the potential and encouraged me. Um, then, <clears throat> when I went to Yale Law School, there was somebody called Professor McDougall. At a certain time, I hesitated to come back to Ghana, and I was looking for a job. And he, you know, was, um, uh, he had enough confidence in me to recommend me to a number of institutions. And that's how I got to Leeds University as a lecturer. Wow. At that time, there was probably only one or two African, African lecturers over there. of law in, in the UK. Amazing. And that's how I also got into the World Bank, you know, the encouragement of uh, this professor who had a, a network of friends. I see. Anna? Yes. Um, at your age and how you're able to recall <laughs> almost everybody who has played a role in yes. your life is, I mean, I find it um, very interesting. I hope that at your age I'm able to do the same thing. <laughs> um, so, it brings me to my next question. By, yeah. by the way, the Asakori Methodist School, is it still standing? It's still there. Really? Yes, it's still there. I yes. see. Yes. I see. We hope it's yeah. able to produce a lot more. Yes. And that's uh, SKB Asante. Yes. So, Nana, I mean, a lot of people know that you are chief. Correct. Um, maybe for the many young people, the young ones who are watching this video, who may not know, your regalia or your dressing alone gives you away that you're a chief. Yes. Okay. So, tell me. Paramount Chief of Asante, Asokori Traditional Area. Yes. I want the backstory. Um, how and when did you become a chief? How did you become a chief? Uh, well, I became a chief in 1995. Okay. And that was um, really after a strenuous campaign by my extended family because I was resisting the um, idea of submitting myself as a candidate for uh, the vacant um, 
this tool. Uh, but I was impressed by two things. First of all, the Asakura Youth Association took me around. They so look at our water facilities. We have no electricity or not much electricity. Uh, very limited water facilities. Um, uh, other amenities are poor. You have uh, been lucky to have both a national and uh, international role. You can achieve, maybe you can generate projects for us with your contracts. And then there was uh, my good friend, Nano Utwis Rubo, now the president of the uh, Council of State, okay. who said that, you know, Nana, you have been uh, lucky enough to go to Achimota to have uh, an international education. You've been to the World Bank and to um, the United Nations Center on Transnational Corporations. You helped to formulate the Constitution of Ghana. How what about doing something in your own birthplace, which will be a um, source of uh, uh, pride to you? Or, I imagine that was striking. So that, that, that was um, uh, that, that was irresistible. But I must say that there were people who warned me against the dangers of chieftaincy and. Uh, the challenges are quite formidable, but on the whole, I'm glad that I made my service available. People sometimes ask me, why did you become a chief after international and academic career? I just wanted to help improve the livelihood of my people. That's about it. You know, Sokora is not a very uh, rich area. There are not too many uh, concessions, either mineral or, or forestry. So it, it is a, a sacrificial undertaking mm -hmm. to become a chief in those area, in that area. So that's how I became a chief. I see, I see. So, so far, what are some of your proudest moments as a chief of Asokori? Well, <clears throat> I have made development my primary objective and passion. Okay particularly in education. I have assisted hundreds of Asakura youngsters in the attempt to go, go to high school or to university, uh, either by giving financial support or by supporting them with the letters of support. I have um, established um, something called the Krobia Asante Technical Vocational Institute which is a technical vocational institute, which I founded. Luckily, it has been uh, adopted by government and has received international support. And it's one of the 10 technical schools uh, which have been uh, sponsored by the African Development Bank in terms of major infrastructure um, development. So if you go to Asokori uh, and you you go to this technical school, you think you've been to a university. The infrastructure is amazing. I'm very proud of that. Mm. I've also set up a foundation, an SKBI foundation, which uh, addresses uh, educational and health issues. Right now, for example, this, this morning I gave instructions that my foundation, my traditional council, should all um, go to the villages to, to uh, educate them about the coronavirus and what to do, and things of that type. We provide vacation classes for students and so forth, uh, provide us scholarships. I have uh, supported educational projects in various schools. Um, I have um, led in the introduction of uh, various development projects, like a network of roads, that's a quarry town roads, um, a police station, um, improved water facilities and so forth and so on. Th these are ongoing projects and um, so I feel that I have made some contribution uh, to the upliftment of the standard of living of my people. I think your people must be proud and grateful to have you as well, their chief. Well. The Hero do you want to sell your property or you're looking for a property to buy? 
Are you sick and tired of entrusting your properties or homes in the hands of agents? Or you just stressed out with the hustle and bustle of agent Wahala in securing a property or home? Then look no further. Net 36 Vista has your property needs sorted. With properties located at prime areas of Accra, such as Laboni, Cantonment, East Legon, West Legon, and Airport Hills and 8 Environs, property owners and buyers are assured of reliability, security, safety, and comfort. We deliver excellence and top notch property investment plans, property management, property rentals, and sales for all. For viewing and pricing, contact us on 0302-960-601 or log on to www.net36vista.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Net36Vista. Look sharp and acquire a property now with Net36Vista because your safety and comfort is our priority. Do you want to buy or sell your products and services or do you want to advertise your goods and services? Buzz30.com is here to give you the opportunity to buy, sell and advertise your products and services such as furniture, electronics, cars, health and beauty, restaurants, hotels and reservations, job advertisements and many more. Visit www.buzz30.com for more details. Buzz30.com we serve and care for your business. Is your business on the verge of collapse? Do you need some support to expand your business? Then worry no more. Ghana Chamber of Business Industries is here to assist you boost your business. The Ghana Chamber of Business Industries, GCBI. We put smiles on the faces of small and medium scale enterprises to improve efficiency, effectiveness and quality of service to remain competitive. At GCBI, SME's growth and profit maximization is our hallmark as we provide registered businesses with their required merchandise, free training in business management and legal framework. So visit our website on www.gcbigh.org to register and become a member today. And on Facebook, Ghana Chamber of Business Industries, GCBI. For further information, contact us on 0302-961-156, GCBI. Corporate for Growth.